Welcome to Scotland's People, brought to you by the National Records of Scotland. In this film, we'll show you how to log in and use our website. To register or log in, simply click on the register or login link at the top right corner of the page. If you've registered previously, you'll need to enter the username and password you used for our old website. You will then be prompted to input an email address and a new password. These are required in order to transfer your account over to our new website. For the new website, an email address acts as your username from now on, and each account must have a unique email address associated with it. If you've forgotten your password, don't worry, you can still receive it by clicking Forgotten Password. We'll then send you an email to set a new password, and then you can log in. When you log in to your account, You'll see it confirmed in the top right corner, where you'll see your name plus any remaining credits. That's it! Now you're ready to start using the new Scotland's People website. If you've not registered previously, then please see our video on how to register. In this film, we'll show you how to check your account. This is something you can do once you've logged in. To check your account, just click on your name in the top right corner to reveal the account menu. From here, you can click the specific areas of your account, or you can click on My Account at the top of the list to see an overview of your account. Once you are in the My Account section, you can update your personal details, account details, and account preferences, such as turning on search tips, or opting in or out of our newsletter. You can also purchase credits in My Account. On this page, you can also view your previously saved images, your previously saved searches, keep track of orders, and add or edit a shipping or billing address. And that's how you check your account at Scotland's People. In this film, we'll show you how to search the records currently available on the website. From our new homepage, there are three ways to search our records. It will help your search if you have as much information about your own family history as possible before you start. Option 1 is our quick search function. After registration, you can search our indexes and view a list of search results free of charge, up to the point where you want to view or download a digital image. Here, you have the option to select the category most suited to your search – people, places or other. Once you have entered the details and clicked search, you will be given the results ordered by category. You will be asked to register or log in if you haven't already, and then you will be given a list of results most suited to your search. If you need to buy or use credits to view the image, it will be displayed within the browser window. You then have the option to save the image, print the image, zoom in, crop, and more. If you did not find what you were looking for, you can return to the search results and refine your criteria to narrow down or broaden the results. You may find switching on the search tips will also help you find the relevant records. Any images you save will be stored within your saved images in the My Account section, along with any other previously purchased images. And that's how you search on the Scotland's People website. In this film, we'll show how new users can register to use our website. To register, simply click on the Register or Login link at the top right corner of the page. When the login window appears, click on the Register tab and fill in an email address and minimum 8-character password as requested. Then click Create New Account. When that's done, an email will be sent to your email address. Click on the link within the email to confirm the creation of your new account. Be aware we do have a new email address ourselves, so you might need to check your spam folder. We will then confirm that you are logged in. Your account is now set up and ready to use. That's it! In this film, we'll show you how to purchase credits. Once you have logged in, you can search our indexes and view a list of search results free of charge. This includes birth, death and marriage registers, census returns, church registers and more. If you want to view, save and download digital images of the records you find, you can use the Pay Per View option. 
By clicking the Buy Credits link, you will be given the option to purchase differing amounts of credits. Once you have selected the amount of credits you want, your credits bundle will be added to your shopping basket. By clicking the Shopping Basket link at the top right of the page, you will be directed to proceed to checkout for your purchase. On the checkout page, you will be required to fill in your billing details before proceeding to the next stage. If your order requires no shipping, you may proceed to the next stage of purchase. You will then be able to review your order and confirm your billing details. You can also select the way in which you would like to pay by entering your payment details. We will then confirm your purchase on screen and send you an email confirmation. You can then view your order or return to the home page to continue your search. And that should be everything you need to know.